Good evening and welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Alex Lord. A lot of good stuff for you for today. Fox 5's Miles Garrett is going to join us from the Senior Bowl to talk about the standouts and the guys that haven't performed up to par through the first two days of the Senior Bowl. Chris Sale, we're going to talk about his best attribute, what he brings to the Braves. AJ Minter had a ton of good stuff to say about the newest member of the Atlanta Braves. We're also going to talk about a funny video surfacing from Alex Anthopoulos on the Dylan Cease trade, but we are going to start with Calvin Ridley and some comments, kind of some differing comments. One is Chris Campbell from Walter Football. He says sources say that the Jaguars were frustrated throughout the season with Calvin Ridley because of missed assignments, showing up underweight, stuff like that. He still called for over a thousand yards, but there were definitely some drop issues combined with that. But at the same time, Jaguars general manager came in and had some glowing things to say and sounding like basically they're going to do everything they can to keep him. I think the decision is going to come down to whether they believe he can be a number one receiver because he clearly wasn't that guy. But I think he's going to get that kind of money. And obviously, from the Falcons perspective, it's, it's notable because we get a second round pick if they agree to an extension. And if they don't, it will be a third round pick. Yeah, I mean, it's hard not to talk about, you know, Calvin Ridley in a disappointing manner because the entire Jaguar season was a disappointment. That goes from Doug Peterson to, yes, Trevor Lawrence was disappointing. The defense didn't live up to its billing. Uh, there were individual moments. Um, Trayvon Walker, former number one overall pick, a lot of our listeners are Georgia fans. Uh, Trayvon Walker uh, came around. I think at him uh, and Ryan Nielsen's system is going to do wonders for his development, particularly those sack numbers. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think about this whole Calvin Ridley situation because to me, I don't know if you can necessarily hold him accountable for the disappointment on the offense. Like I said, Trevor Lawrence was excruciating excruciatingly bad at times and you know quite frankly that's who's you know we should be holding whose feet to the fire Calvin Ridley can only do so much and I'm not saying Calvin Ridley is free of blame because like you said there were some drops missed assignments we don't know what the actual task is on any given it any given play uh but from where I sit most of the blame should be put on Doug Peterson who's art the architect of the offense and Trevor Lawrence yeah, I think regardless, the Jaguars have to be trying to build around Trevor Lawrence. If you do get get rid of Calvin Ridley and move on from him, you're probably going to be going to a rookie wide receiver. Maybe you get someone else in free agency, but are they going to be as good as Calvin Ridley? And then you also have to think about the upside of Calvin Ridley. I mean, the guy still caught for a thousand yards and eight touchdowns. And this is a guy who hasn't played football in a year and a half. And I think the sources uh, from whatever Campbell is, I have no idea how legitimate they are. The underweight part thing kind of confuses me to a degree, especially when the GM said, you know, he loves practice. He loves football. Um, a guy like that is only going to get better with more time on the field because he loves the game so much. So they're kind of deferring comments. Maybe the GM is just having some coach speak moments. Maybe yeah. he has no desire to keep Calvin Ridley, but regardless, the Jaguars are going to have to get better around Trevor Lawrence. And I agree. I think a lot of the blame should be on Trevor Lawrence because the guy who was a blue chip, surefire number one overall pick the best quarterback prospect since Andrew Luck Harold is already like a top 10 quarterback before he ever came into the league has not played like it at any moment at any moment whether it's the playoffs he's had flashes there's no doubt but we all knew he was going to have flashes and stuff like that the consistency has not been there and I do think Calvin Ridley with more time on the field entering the prime of his career is only going to get better so if I were the Jaguars I'd extend him unless there's really a disconnect between like his attitude and stuff like that, which we know has been a problem. I'm not saying anything against Tim. It might be a mental health thing or something like that. We don't know. We know he's had those issues in the past. But unless there's a serious disconnect between him and the coaching staff, I don't see why they wouldn't reach some sort of extension. Yeah, I mean, uh, this Jaguars team, Trevor Lawrence was pretty spectacular uh, in that divisional round or wild card round uh, against the Chargers some years ago. Um but other than that, like you said, he has not lived up to the billing of the first overall pick, let alone the generational prospect that many dubbed him to be. Uh, and this is the same Jaguars team that gave Christian Kirk just under $20 million annually. And if you're telling me that Calvin really isn't a better player than Christian Kirk, then I don't know what game you're watching. Uh, and that's what Calvin really is going to command, somewhere around $20 million. 
Now, if you want to, if you're talking about giving two wide receiver twos, which is basically what Calvin Ridley is at this point, that's not to say he can't return to that status of wide receiver one. Christian Kirk is certainly a wide receiver two. If you don't want to give two wide receiver twos around $20 million per year, I totally understand that. Obviously, for the Falcons, you know, Falcons this is an Atlanta talk show. The Falcons want them to extend Calvin Ridley because, like Chase said to begin the segment, if they extend him, this third round pick we have in the 2024 NFL draft turns into a second round pick. And when we're talking about the future of the Falcons, we're talking about the quarterback situation, whether it be Justin Fields, whether it be trading up for one of Jaden Daniels, Drake May, or Caleb Williams, that second round pick is going to become infinitely more valuable. So, obviously, as we sit here today, we want the Falcons to extend Calvin Ridley. But if I'm a Jaguars fan, I'd rather have Calvin Ridley than Christian Kirk. Yeah, No doubt about it. We'll keep an eye on it the rest of the offseason. Coming up after the break, Miles Garrett joins us to talk about the Senior Bowl.